Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of World Conquer 4. And in today's episode of World Conquer 4, we're going to have a look at a new update of the nuclear war mod by Captain Strikers. Uh, he told me that it would be released yesterday, which it, it is, and we have a lot of stuff to uncover. So first, at, have to look at all of these links. I will copy and paste also as well to the original uh, owner, and you will get a new mission. A version, sorry, a new version has been transferred to a new version of World Conquer 4. Added generals, biography of all generals, added description for all units. Battle pass has been replaced by unlimited medals. Okay, so battle pass, uh, I did check that one out, and yes, it's unlimited medals. You can claim it every day, which is good. Uh, racing mode and new generals medal. The new generals medal is something similar to the uh, new one you can see right here. Uh, this is the general medal, but we don't we haven't seen the new stuff which gives you the bonuses yet. Okay, and new generals Kraken, Abrams, Alfonso Corona, De Rosso, Eduardo Arno, Maha Al Assad, Luigi Mascapa, Commander of Europe, Fabian Cristobal. So these are the new generals. Let's have a look at them. Uh, we have George Marshall's uh, infantry, a new one, a new face. We got uh, Mikhail Tukowski. This is also good, why not? Uh, Rogozovsky, uh, Hermann Goering, also good with air, okay. Also, there's custom skill from World Conquer 4, so yeah, you'll see that one. Ivan Konev, Montgomery, Vasilevsky, this is also good. Alan Brook, more of an uh, artillery, uh, ally commander. And then you have this guy also as well not to mention that these guys aren't so good in the original one but i think after the update he kind of got some good space we got mount batten as well runstead Patton, patten also good arnold Arnold also good with air okay and for the silver part you got the same as usual but with a few more faces han spiddle and then uh you got Andrew Cunningham, you got Yashushi Okamura, you got Gunichi Mikawa, this one is a new one, I haven't seen this guy. And we got Michael Whitman, yeah, he's kind of got buff, unnerved actually, because in the original game he got some good stat, but this one, not so much, you can tell. Captain, only that skill, so he only possessed 3 skill as a Panzer General. Not general, but yeah. it's more of an officer, though. By the way, it's a good one. And tutorial, uh, tutorial missions are now easier. And added WTO 8 Invasion of Alaska. So WTO 8 Invasion of Alaska. You will see it here. Okay. So this is an invasion of Alaska. Okay, you will start off here and we'll cross the land. And you will reach Alaska and Canada. And New World Order. So this one is a lot on uh, the focuses of, of, of conquest. So you will see New World Order 1962. Shift the event, dialogues, morale effect, death of general, city captures, alliance change, capitulations. Uh, plus 90 new countries. New cities name, Germanized and Japanese. Three-way wars, Hawaiian missile crisis, Alfian war, Russian warlords, English civil war. Sino-Japanese border conflict, West African anarchy, Malayan emergency, Filipino insurrection, Vietnam War, Indian Ocean War, Second Pacific War, Third Pacific War, etc. etc. Surviving General Patton, Romo, Watutin, Lerek, Yamashita, Yamamoto, Goering, etc. At Wokshire in Germany. So, let's have a look. This is the conquest update. So you've got World War Three. we've seen that one. You've got the Battle of Rhine, also seen that one. The Revolutionary War, this was more of an alternate uh, scenario where the Soviet kind of pushed everybody off. you got Battle of Vistula. you got the Great Nuclear War, so this is when people started to go berserk, okay. This is when things started to go the wrong way, right? Okay. And you have 1964 Battle of Pyrenees. This one is when they already pushed out, so it's the end. Okay, Operation Unthinkable 1945. 
Uh, this is after World War Two. Berlin Airlift. This is the when they erect the wall. Korean War, Suez Crisis. This one. Uh, Algerian War. You got Sino-Indian War. So only China and India. Yom Kippur War. This is in the Israel. You got Albert Alche. This one is a training, but almost became a war. We got the Gulf War, nineteen ninety one. Let's see. So the United States are already here. So it's just a matter of time, by the way, because they all deploy their troops. And nineteen. Sorry, twenty eleven. Oh, this is the Pax Americana. Okay, this is interesting. You got Republic of Borussia, Russian ultra nationalist, Russian Federative Republic. Okay. After the retreat of the United States in World War Three, the world gradually recovered. The domination of capitalism was strongly established after the total destruction of communism in 1966. China remained the last pillar to defend this ideology. The USSR is no longer as it was. The pro-NATO government has taken power. The peace treaty forced the USSR to dissolve the Union and disband the Warsaw Pact. It granted independence to the Socialist Union's Republic and the Ottoman Republic. Okay, interesting. There's a lot of dialogue, but I just skip it. But we will check it over. Okay, that's nice. The Khmer Republic as well. Okay, I think it's good. I haven't checked in details, but why not? Two thousand three Red International. This is when the Soviet Union prevail. Part Thai Khmer Rouge. Yeah. So no one is communist. Uh, a free American Russian Republic. Sorry. Uh. Social state of Arizona. Interesting. And you got the New World Order, nineteen sixty-two, which Germany kind of taken everything. Right, Commissariat Denmark. Right, Commissariat Austrian. Right, Commissariat Muscovian. Right, Commissariat Ukraine. Uh, Greater Germany and Reich. Okay, let's have a look. Following the Axis victory in 1945, Germany and Italy were able to maintain a strong alliance for some time. However, tension eventually rose between the two nations as Germany demanded German-speaking region of the South Tyrol and Tessino from Italy, leading to a split in the late 1940s. 50 was followed by the period of internal conflict. Germany, after the Führer death, the Wehrmacht, and the Schutterfall were divided. Civil war occurred between Göring and Himmler. Which ended in Göring victory. Himmler was executed for treason, and the Schutterfall was disbanded. I think. If follow correctly from the thousand thousand week Reich, uh, I think it was a three way a four way civil war, the SS, Göring, and uh, Martin Bormann and uh, Manstein from Wehrmacht, but I don't know which one this is. But never mind. After after map of this event, four main lines emerged: the Eisenspark, the military defense bloc, the Organization of Free Nations, and the Greater East Asian Coast Spear. They actually ceased to exist right after World War Two. And the ally formed the OFN with USA as its center. During post World War II, Switzerland was invaded by Germany and Italy during Operation Tannenberg. A pro Italian coup took over in Saudi Arabia, which strengthened Indian domination in the Middle East. Japan has been involved in several border conflicts with India and remnants of the Second Chinese Front to this day. This event led to an intense and unstable global situation with a cold war raging between the major powers. These tensions reached a critical point in 1962 during the Hawaiian Missile Crisis between Japan and the USSA. The war between Germany and Italy has finally approached, while anarchy continues to reign in Russia. War, we declare war on Italian Empire. Our right have been set, setting eyes on South Tyrol and cannot tolerate any German to be oppressed under Italian government. The greater German right is superior above all. All Germany must unite under one nation. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Uh, we okay. So technically, this is quite a mess. But I think it's good that we only play half of this, or else it would have been gone crazy. You got Japan, 
I mean, China still exists. Interesting. Punon Pen. Oh, okay. This is very Japanese. Huh? Let's have a look at it. Okay, we got the we got the walk share as mentioned. Light infantry, seven triple infantry, Panzer Jaeger, Flammenwagen, Uber Commando. You got Panther, Kaiger, Mouse, Leopard, and Mammut. Ooh, this one is a, a relic from. What was it? Uh, Glory of General to Ace, I guess. This is level four. This is we don't have level five, right? And how do I get level 5? Maybe Moscow? Level 4. Actually, the design is nice. I like that. And also, the unit is easily to destroy. Which is fine by me. Let's, let's have a look. Uh, mouse, let's try Rommel. He's a, he's a desert guy. This also from, I think, Glory of General 3. No, 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 no. Also, uh, another trilogy, but I forgot the name. Maybe United States will get level 5. I don't know. Maybe there's some event will trigger. Okay. So, new units. King Tiger, Leopard 1, Standard B, Type 74, Panzer X Mammut, Centurion MK, Shots, Panzer 55, FV Chieftain AMX 50 Magash 6 Strief Swag 103 Arjun Mark 1 This one is has to be an Indian tank T1 Adlai is Turkish K2 Black Panther Kara Amata E2 Osorio Panzer 2 Reichstorscher O2 Intercontinental Oh my god what the hell is this Type 2 submarines, Hamburg class destroyer, cruise class cruiser. Okay, this is more navy. And this is more of an air force. And this is more of an atomic bomb. Let's have a look at the atomic bomb. I like that one. Uh, oh, I forgot. Sino Soviet War. Okay. Modern War 2003. You ever never know. Russian Federation's Ukrainian War. Maybe if I attacked earlier, things would have been different, but you never know. Uh, okay. This is actually good. a good scenario, by the way. 1962. Let's have a look at the nuclear bomb. I haven't checked it. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. 1961. 62. Germania, Great German Rank. Okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is so cool. Arado, Aljega. This is nice. Okay. I like that. The color scheme. So cool. Let's have a look. Damn, this is cool. This is actually cool. It's painted black. Really, really black. I'm not sure if it's it's have a different effect, but uh But we we kinda run out, so I'll wait for another turn. Ah, but the aircraft carrier still have the old effect, so let's restart. Okay, so let's test the bomb out. Okay, same effect, doesn't matter. Maybe they just change the name. Let me end another turn. Because I just want to test it out, the look of it.
Okay, there's there's no snow now, even rain. Oh, you have unlocked technology. Okay. I almost forgot about that. So maybe if you reach level 10, you will get maybe a uh, level 5 Germania. Let's try the, the second one. That also... Oh, 2000. Maybe we take time. It's, I don't know. Uh, short range ballistics missile. Okay, this is way, way more damage than the other one. So let me just nuke Italy. Okay, so this is like six, seven ranges. I think if I had to play this one, I could just start by nuking Italy. The barbarian has sat room and the has ended. Okay, so let's say I have to follow this some sort of event. I would just take Italy, I take Spain, maybe have a look at Turkey, stabilize that front because I don't want any problems. Uh, I'll push the English out and the Nordic just to secure, and I'm not sure uh, about 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 uh, maybe if I try to finish Africa. And after I'm done with that, I have a side to choose either the United States or Japanese. But if Japan or if China managed to survive, I will take care of that. But I mean, fighting multiple front would not, would not be easy. And Japan and the United States also fighting. So I think we kind of got ourselves a free hand in the Iberian Peninsula and also Africa. But you never know how things works out because it's it tends to change all the time. And... I'm not so sure about that as well, but we will try to play. But you know me, I don't manage to have time that much. So this is the stuff by uh, Portrait Under Artists and community members and other modders who also help and participate in this mod. So, okay, for sure. Let's have a link for that one. And I don't think that's so much to take a look. Maybe 2003, Modern War. Okay, so this is the original year. Okay, Tillery. This is a very classic, uh, modern day scenarios. I mean, it's simple, you know. If the Russia ever come again, it's them. But the delay with the angle kind of take it off. And this is the topple M. That's nice. Okay, so at Moscow you will have T34, KV2, KV5, Amarda, Object, okay. And you got Oh, so the topple A is a special, special, special unit. So it has range, 12, sorry, 25 ranges. Damn, bro. Okay, that's nice. That's nice, by the way. So I think that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I will link the game in the descriptions. And thank you so much, Captain Stryker, for your immense participation in this mod. It's just such a great mod. We'll try my best to do it.